All right, so today we are going to Wyoming to get something very special to my friend Josh here. What are we going to go get? Uh, we don't know the year, but it's a <laughs> Ford. It's an old Ford. Old Ford, old Ford We're extended gonna... cab. I was also able to convince Janelle to come with us today. Where have you been? Uh, like people are, everyone kind of wants to know what you've been up to. Well, school. That's what I've been up to. So I'm in paramedic school. Um, it's a year long program, which unfortunately takes a lot of time away from this guy, but we make some exceptions sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, well, it's a long drive. We got a couple stops to make at Harbor Freight and the parts store because we're going out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so let's hit the road. All right, I haven't given you a lot of details on the truck, but we're planning on driving it home and we're definitely gonna need to get some parts. Not a sponsor. <laughs> and another required stop for any adventure. We're all snacked up and we're back on the road. Um, we might stop at the grocery store because uh, my buddy Michael doesn't have a lot to eat. I, I've been to his house before, all he had was pasta. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with pasta, but, you know, I might want something else that's not pasta. Why, why do you like this truck, Josh? I don't know, it's just an old Ford. I've always wanted uh, just an older one with a pull valve in it. That's what the end goal is. Why do you want an extended cab? Um... I want an extended cab because it's a little bigger. I can haul a few more people. I have a little more room to put a sleeping bag or whatnot without, you know, putting it out in the weather. You want a snack? We just made it past Evanston, Wyoming. And uh, now we're in stop traffic. Not yet, but we're about to be. Look at that. I don't know if we're going to get a work on that truck today. I want to. It was a uh, semi just bumped into a guardrail. It was nothing major. It was just blocking the road. At least the road conditions are nice. <laughs> we made it. Is it? Here is actually a lot nicer than I thought. I like it going to be a fun drive home. Well, think we can get it running? I think so. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Dude, I think she'll fire up. Honestly. I guess we can see if it will turn over. Right? Yeah. Get the starting fluid. <laughs> All right, the good stuff. I'm excited. I did think it was a four wheel drive, but we were gonna change axles anyway, so. I'm taking my Phillips the carburetor. Fuel, and then we'll and then we'll let it idle and see if it pulls any fuel out of the tank. We want to fill the carburetor bowl, not for nothing else. I think you're filling everything else but the carburetor bowl. <laughs> okay, let's fill it. Oh, 
Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's let's start with that. I hope the heater works. <laughs> it's gonna be a long drive if it doesn't. <laughs> Oh, there's a problem. <laughs> they pulled the fuel line off and uh, stuck it in a water bottle. Oh yeah? Yeah. All right, right there. Okay, give it a go. Try again. No! <laughs> this is why we don't use starting fluid, folks. You lose your eyebrows. <laughs> Look at my hand, it's all singed. <laughs> Smell that? That's my dignity. Ah. Uh, it was spraying fuel out of the like inlet for it. Cause it's all cracked. Well, we got some new line, don't we? Yep. We just can't break that filter. Or do you want to cut that off? And uh, we could the break the filter actually. Cause it just goes to metal right there. Oh, that filter is just a safety mechanism. pouring oil onto the ground. That is an oil pressure line, my friend. <laughs> that is just straight oil getting dumped out. That's okay, that's not bad. Like if we were able to crimp it off, it would be fine. <sighs> oh, I gotta move, quick, he's starting it. It's just gonna fire up. Is it? Yeah and then die immediately. I'd have to say one of my first friends has been Josh. Like, he was there in the beginning. So we, we've got uh, like family videos that go way back of us together, like at his cabin and whatnot, and, you know, back when we were like one, playing in the snow and whatnot. And uh, I don't know, we've just kind of had fun together ever since. It filled up with fuel a lot quicker that time. get for being dumb. Just a little bit down in the back. You did not move very fast. You just kind of well oh, like man. it would go out but it never did. Then I was like well I guess I better help throw some snow on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. 
Why did the fuel pump pick it up that first time and then hasn't since? I know it's not pumping the fuel out because I've been watching it. Like it's not going elsewhere. But is it just leaching back into the tank? So if I sat here and, well don't catch that on fire. We're not gonna catch this on fire. You ready? Yep. But as long as I kept pouring fuel, it was running. running. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's put the tires on. There's a reason I live in southern Utah now. I don't do well below 40 degrees. Go find a bite to eat and we'll be back in the morning. Oh, and a fuel pump, I guess. Alrighty, so we are back and it is like seven degrees right now. Yeah, seven-ish Fahrenheit. It's pretty cold Celsius, that's what that means. And uh, we've got Michael with us today and uh, we're gonna see what we can uh, what we can get done on this truck. Right now we're taking a tour of uh, Michael's dad's resource pile. It might not look like resources, uh, but it is. <laughs> Check this thing out. There's only like five of them built, right? And the only other one is in Salt Lake, right? It's, uh, or Logan as a search and rescue. No, it's here. They're all here. All four? My bad. None of them work in existence. <laughs> <laughs> So with this motor, it comes out of like a like a biplane way back in the day, uh, like World War One stuff, and uh, the whole motor spins. The, the propeller is attached to the motor, and the motor spins. Kind of a goofy setup. All right, so we went through some of the stuff upstairs, found an electric fuel pump, and uh, we got a switch to turn it off and on. It'll work. It'll work. <laughs> What you doing in there? Oh, we're just looking for a bolt. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That should work. work. <sighs> yeah, actually, that's that's even like grounded and everything. Good quality. <laughs> Is it gonna work, Michael? <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I, I, I think the pump's good, but we might be searching for another one, who knows. <laughs> well, the engine bay is a lot cleaner than I thought. Usually there's a rat nest or a squirrel. Like in Southern Utah, if you let a car sit for a year, um, when you open the hood, it'll be full of sticks. Try not to uh, rev it up so much, just kind of keep it lower idle.
I'm not convinced we didn't just flood it though. Maybe we'll change the plugs out. We got new wires. We did, I think we fouled the plug up a little bit. All right, so we kind of flooded the motor, I think, personally, with bad gas. And that's why the, the spark plug looked like that. It was, it was bad, it was really bad. Spark plugs don't really like to fire when they're soaked in gasoline. Game. Sounds like we need to play with the timing a little bit. Yeah. Huh? No, <laughs> no rattles. Yeah. No, no knocks. Yet. Till we break the blues. Okay, go for it. Guess the fuel pump started working. It wasn't. It was not yesterday. It wasn't. <laughs> A lot of things that shouldn't have happened yesterday. I hope the heater works because my feet are frozen. <laughs> it worked. I feel it. Oh yeah? Yeah. It's already getting warm, huh? Ah. It's got no glass packs. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. Are you excited? I am really excited. It's going to be a long trip home, but a fun one. Well, we'll get it pulled out of here at least. I have to say, this is the best sounding gas motor I've ever heard on a farm truck. It's got glass packs. Michael's looking at it as a new daily. <laughs> what do you think? It's pretty awesome. It does sound really good too. Dude, it drives straight. Like, it doesn't wander nothing. Like, it runs good. I 
I think we should bleed the brakes. Do you have any brake fluid? Yeah, I got brake fluid. Okay. We should maybe do that on the road where we can lay under it better. They don't work it at all stops. in the snow, really. <laughs> <laughs> it does stop. But it needs a little attention <laughs> before we go on a long trip home. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for helping. I'm glad we could entertain you for a couple hours and uh, also make more room for more resources. You have to like, pull the knob up to do something funny. What is that? It's a uh, whale tail. <laughs> yeah. All right, we can't leave with an empty trailer. So we, uh, we talked him into letting us take uh, I don't know, this cu tracked Cushman thingy-majig, and uh, I, it, it's not not mine or anything yet. Might not ever be. But I told him, uh, asked him if I could get it running, and when I come back up next time, we'll go play in the snow. So it'll be more of a fun trip. You couldn't help yourself. I could couldn't. You? No, no, I couldn't. Little Cushman Trackster, got that on the trailer. It shouldn't be a problem. That, however, is a different story, but we'll be fine, we'll be fine. It's a long drive. It's like 450, 450 miles home, you. And that's only if we take the freeway. If we take the highway, it's gonna be over five. It's always on empty, <laughs> so. Every gas station. <laughs> you, you might wanna see how many miles you go and how many. Yeah, I think we might stop at Kemmer top her off it'll probably take like 20 or 30 gallons all righty this is the start of like our 500 mile trip home <laughs> yeah. uh. We just left the barge and holy smokes, like these guys are scooting. Like I'm going 75 and I can't even catch up to them. We're gonna stop here and get some fuel, figure out how much fuel it's actually burning and then uh, continue down the road. So well, we've gone 50 miles. And uh, I know it's not a super, super big amount, I guess, but I mean, that's a pretty, pretty fair, like 11 miles of the gallon or 4.8. So we're- yeah, We had a little idle time too, like an hour. <laughs> so confident in, in how it runs, I got snacks. Um, and then we're just gonna try not to fall asleep. So, so things, uh, so things don't get bad. <laughs> We made it to Evanston, Wyoming. That is over a hundred miles away from LaBarge. This trip is going super well. I hope I don't jinx it. We're here to stop at the parts store to grab a fuel pump and to fuel up my truck behind us. But uh, yeah, how's it going so far? Oh, it's great. Um, we're gonna top this off too, because 
we don't know if the rear tank works. So we're gonna refill the front tank while we're here. Welcome to Utah! We're practically home. Only five more hours and 341 miles. <laughs> Josh, what's going on? Um, so we decided to stop check the oil. It was on the ad. I think it's leaking somewhere on the back because it's all over the transmission. So we're just adding a little bit of oil and we'll be back on the road. Sweet. All the levels are topped off and everything is actually looking really good. Back on the road. This truck is fast. I want to race it against my truck. All right, let's do it. Sun's going to be setting here pretty quick. It says we have four more hours left until we're home. That's what my phone says. 267 miles. So, I mean, almost halfway. How are the headlights? Do they work? Well, it's not quite dark enough to tell if they're on or not, so. I'm pretty sure they're on because I can see them on signs when you drive by, but I don't think they're very bright. How many miles since our last fuel stop? Oh, we've been like 190, I think. We're pretty near 200. Woo. Woo. And man, it's running great. I see oil. Lots of oil. Oh, it's a lot, a lot. Is it? Yes. Is it? Yep, <laughs> it's got crazy bad seals on it. We are in Hurricane. We made it. We're, what, three minutes from your house? Oh yeah. Almost 500 miles, the old truck. Didn't really have a problem. It is it is leaking a lot of oil though. Yeah. Uh, I think it's just the oil pan gasket. Doesn't seem to be leaking out of anywhere else. Yeah, can't wait to get this thing in the shop. All right, so last night we got back from picking up this truck from Wyoming and uh, that, was a, that was a blast. That was a good trip, huh Josh? It was great, it turned out good. So can't wait to get started on it. It's gonna be a lot of work, but it'll be worth it. It's gonna be a fun build. I'm excited to get started.